Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our chat. This is episode 33. What's 33. going on? 33. I, I stepped on some bubble wrap and it scared me. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you live in an art studio. It's bubble wrap and, yeah. and plastic everywhere. It's glamour all around. Welcome, everybody. Glad you're back. We're glad we're back. We're back from Romania. We were gone there for three and a half weeks. And so uh, we took a little bit of a hiatus from, from uh, this broadcast. So, so we're delighted to be back. You want to share something with Romania? Romania was fabulous, guys. It was everything we expected and and a whole lot more. Yeah, it, it was. But again, if you guys have the time, please check out our YouTube channel, uh, John Bishop Fine Art. We have a vlog. We have two vlogs about Romania. And a uh, podcast. They are a also couple of podcasts. They are also shared on our uh, Facebook feeds. So it's easy to get to if you want to and if you have the time. It's an amazing place, amazing place to to see, to visit, and uh, we're thinking living there very soon. But yeah. uh, soon, soon is a, is a relative a, term. Yes, yes. <laughs> anyway, we're not so packing yet. We're back on the studio with new art, with new projects uh, coming in, and uh, since we have a very short time uh, available right now, how about sharing? Let me do the in the first of all. Oh yeah, that, that's right. I forgot. See, it yeah, it's takes been, three weeks and a holiday. You forget what you're doing. No, just to remind everybody that uh, we are broadcasting via Zoom, and yet you're watching us via uh, Facebook Live. There is a bit of a delay between what we do and what we see. Yeah. Uh, so if if you're trying to get through to us, we're not ignoring you. It just takes a moment uh, to show up. And secondly, everything that we're showing you today is for sale. That's the whole point of the art chat is for Bogdan and I to be able to feature what we're doing, uh, what's available in our collection and our and our artistic lives. And so uh, we don't really have another forum to do that. So that's what art chat is all about. If you fall in love with something, uh, that's the time to buy it. Uh, we can get it to you wherever you are in the world. Your hands alone. Anyway, so now it's time to switch back to the presentation. And um, guys, these are uh, new pieces. Mine is very new. It's actually created and printed and shipped it from Romania. And uh, it's called uh, Urbana Revisited because I am so in love with everything I've seen in, I, I uh, got to, to, to see in Bucharest mm -hmm. and inspire me for a new series. And you have a relatively one, a new one. A fairly new one, yes. This one is called Chatter. It's uh, one that I'll be sharing this morning. And uh, it's a uh, an abstract piece that uh, I recently did, and I really really like it. And we'll talk about it in a minute. So this guys, is, uh, this piece is new, as I said, and uh, I'm about to create a series that is probably call is gonna call something like urbanesque. I haven't decided that because it's all inspired from the streets of Bucharest. Uh, all these uh, uh, random uh, at the first sight, everything looks um, like. Um, a, a vandalistic way of graffiti, <laughs> but um, uh, what I see through it, it's uh, an expression of art uh, that comes through all corners. So that inspired me to, to create these collages and uh, uh, create a mashup of, of abundant colors and lines and graffiti and signatures of people. And uh, uh, this is how uh, Urbana revisited. And actually what attracted me is this head, somebody did this head with a spray, which is actually, um, it reminds me of Brinkush. And, it and, really does. <laughs> and, and, and it's sculptural pieces. And uh, I, Wow, I, I didn't see that till just now. Yeah, and it's, it is so, in a way, so um, Romanian at its core that uh, I can't, I know that this, uh, wires and whatever is that metal will come down very soon for renovation and uh, I said uh, there's, there's things to be saved. Yeah and it's funny because you know it, it's that tradition that that cultural recognition that you made that I didn't even make that connection I see it now mm -hmm. uh, there's art all around us and and that's I think kind of what you're trying to express here that you're I mean, pulling together these incredible images and and colors and patterns the, the, uh, the and beauty. and like you said repackaging them and you know in, in particular this one even though it's a, a mesh and it's it contains many images in this one the actually uh, 
idea. This is a, it used to be a gallery in the oh, in, this, on my time. Uh -huh. So you would go to these galleries inside. Um, and they're they're gone. They're all of them are well, they're, not all no, of them. Many of them are gone. And uh, Hard I thought, what a what a transformation over the years, you know. And what a it, it continues and on. It, it contains a lot of details. Um, you know, it's one of those pieces. The more you have it on the world, the more you discover all, all kinds of hidden messages and. Uh, um, what else is there? Announcements for people trying to sell things, uh, and I find it very interesting and mm -hmm. so and so Romanian in many ways. Uh, I mean, I'm in love with actually with this piece, and this is uh, how the piece it actually look. You know what? Before I forget, now this is on canvas, right? This is printed on canvas, and I printed in Romania, and uh, because I wanted to to build a relationship with uh, a professional printer in Romania, so I did. Um, what else? I, I wasn't sure that I would ever receive this package from Romania. <laughs> but <laughs> It uh, was an experiment, but, yeah. Uh, it did very well and in great conditions. And here is the piece. It looks magnificent. And it's going to be framed because uh, there's so much basically mess and abstract going on in here. I want to put a stop. Yeah, I want to. I want to force the mm -hmm. eyes to to focus on the piece itself. Right, and that does kind of let you know where your eye stops. Mm -hmm. So that's my uh, Urbana revisited, and um, really, it's, really interesting. It's, um, this it's actually an edition of fifteen. Uh -huh. uh, there have been various sizes and various mediums printed over the years. Uh, this one it's available here at Silver Sea Studios. You can come and visit me and uh, look at it, or you can uh, get in touch with me and I'll ship it anywhere. Mm -hmm. And again, the uh, the the beauty of this of this series is that it will be ongoing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a it's a, a celebration of something like you said that could and let's face it, often is considered vandalism, and yet you're able to repackage it into something beautiful, the best mm -hmm. the best of, mm -hmm. uh, and bring them all together. So yeah, you want to talk about yours? Yeah, this is Chatter, uh, one of my newest pieces, and uh, it is fairly large. I've got it here. I'll show it in a second. Uh, one of the things I always try and do uh, is, is is look for some sort of um, I, I call it interior illumination, something that looks like there's there's light emanating from mm -hmm. the the painting. And I don't know if that goes back to my love of of churches and stained glass windows and all of that. It does have that quality to it, but really it's about layering and and that translucence and that light kind of reveal layers and layers and layers of of content and squiggly lines and words and and there are a lot of little text messages in this particular one that's why i called it chatter mm -hmm. and then you have the, the certain things that i always am going to put in mind the sacred circle the little dots to kind of harken back to the aboriginal paintings and that that idea that you move into a dream time or a, a dream space mm -hmm. when you look at, at uh, hopefully when you look at my art and there's also these translucent layers that uh that reveal and, and draw your eye deeper and deeper. And I just find that interesting. And I think it worked out pretty well in this one. It's very lovely. Do you want to Yeah, let me show us? you because it's, it's sizable. I may need some help. You need some help. Yeah, I think I can give you some help. Let's Beating see. it up. Yeah, this is the, the, the part with big art. It's always a... Uh... It's a nice size. It, and you can see, I put tried to put some pictures in it. And I love the frame, actually. Yeah, it, it turned out really well. And uh, it gets a lot of attention. The colors are good, too. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for orange. No, I think it's a lovely piece. And I love the size. Is it 36 by 48 or, oh, like 20, 48, or yeah. 24? 48. No, it's 20, 24 by 48. 24 by 48, yeah. yeah it looks like 24. It's a good, it's a good size. And uh, I think it worked out really well. I yeah. like it. Yeah, I think you're right. It's beautiful. Now, um, we are open this Saturday. And, yes. and uh, we want to 
remind you all that uh, if you see something here that you like and you happen to be in Houston, come visit us here at Silver Sea Studios. Um, we will be open this, we are open every day actually, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, there's a third Saturday event here at Silver Sea Studios and we will all be open for business. And the other thing is that they are currently, as we're, as we're broadcasting right now, they're actually installing the uh, PhotoFest ex exhibition, which will be here through pretty much through the end of the mm -hmm. year. And uh, so it, it'd be really interesting if you haven't uh, uh, seen the PhotoFest. They come every other year and they're hanging the installations now. So there'll be some really, really fascinating photography in the main hallways. As well as in our studio. because As well as in... We're planning to, to uh, hang more um, photography uh, and during, you're participating in PhotoFest again this year. So. Uh, during the, uh, this month of September and October. All right, let's go back to the slideshow and see what else. Um, this is uh, old. The Festival de Fotografia Artistica is toward the end. Uh, I was in a Zoom meeting with them yes. uh, while I was in Romania. Everything went very well. And just a reminder, those are the uh, few of the images I I um, have been featured in this festival. And it's really the inauguration of them. You haven't displayed them anywhere else. N no. I not haven't. as a, not as a, I, I guess a couple of pieces were in the last ex exhibition here, but. Now, as I said at the beginning of the show, if you haven't checked us out on uh, YouTube, you can go to John Bishop Fine Art and uh, take a, a closer look of uh, our journey in Romania. The first of our journeys. The first of our journeys. Anyway, thank you all for watching us, for being with us, for supporting us, for collecting us. And um, I want to say a special thank you to James and Alvaro, who last Saturday uh, stopped by the studio and purchased this small piece of mine called Spring, which is actually a cherry tree branch. Uh, They've collected other pieces of yours yeah, as yeah, well, right? Mm -hmm. Over time. And then another thank you goes to all the Outsmart <laughs> readers and to all of you who have voted for me as uh, um, the best male, male artist, in, artist in Houston. He's and, the runner up. And guess what? I made it to the top somehow, which is great. Yeah. Thank you all. Very uh, exciting. And what else is new? We have a Kiki going on. We have a Kiki tonight. If you haven't uh, uh, sent out some uh, Instagram and, and uh, uh, Twitter messages about that, we are working and have been, I've worked with uh, PRPGMX in Mexico City with Michael Swank and his program. It's kind of an incubator program. Mm -hmm. They do a number of things as well as um, curatorial pr uh, preparation and uh, uh, kind of an incubator, an art lab program that I've participated in. They do exhibitions, they do all kinds of things actually. And uh, they also have Kiki's and that is a meeting that they, where we talk about art and Michael is now featuring different artists on different evenings. And tonight is, is us, uh, Bogdan and I will be presenting this evening uh, at uh, uh, seven o'clock Mexico City time, which happens to be the same here in Houston. But uh, yeah, so if you'd like to join us, we'd be delighted. Uh, you can see the registration there at PRPGMX under events and uh, register for tonight. And we'll, we'll have a lovely visit about our art practice and what we're doing in Romania. What else is new? These are the are some other new pieces I'm working on. This on, on the left, um, it's a work in progress. Um, this is going to be from, again, from that series Urbanesque. And then uh, the one on the right is called Tagged and it's ready and it's framed and it's available for collecting guys. And, and that's on paper, and right? it's looking fantastic. It looks really, really good. And uh, what else? You have something going on. Oh, the, yeah. I had a, a lovely couple come in. I'm sorry, they've got a fly buzzing around. I'm not just freaking out. Um, a lovely couple came in on Saturday and they loved my painting, uh, Boricita. And uh, they kept staring at it, kept talking. And they said, we just don't have the space. It's too big. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a smaller version. Uh, obviously, it won't be the same, uh, but it will be similar in color and pattern and, and, and uh, technique. Uh, 
to try and uh, do a, a commission for them. Mm -hmm. So I was very, very lucky that they came by That's and great. very honored to be able to do a commission for them and for their home. Mm -hmm. Let's go further and let's see. Um, we are it's 10 15 in the middle of the show. It's time to talk about the second part of the art we uh, prepare for you today. And this is uh, actually Urbanesca, another new piece from the same series inspired from Romanian. And, uh, you know, just like the other one, this it's a little more heaviest in messages mm -hmm. and, and it's a complete mashup. It's the window belongs to a building and the wall actually belongs to another building and the, all the uh, decoupage, how the are called as cuts of paper and messages are all added up. So, so I can compress another um, a feeling of the streets of Bucharest. So mm -hmm. this is how uh, uh, this one uh, has uh, bo was born. And just look at, I mean, there there is this architectural style of Bucharest. They used to call it the Little Paris. Uh, this beautiful, beautiful architecture, much of which is in decay because of years of communism and, and just the expense. People just don't have the money to fix them up. Mm -hmm. But there, there are these incredibly detailed, beautiful um, architectural elements all around town. And then to mix them with the kind of urban uh, tagging and, and, and graffiti art, uh, I think is, is an amazing juxtaposition. And look uh, how great they look together. You yeah. Know? It's just like, just speak with each other and yet so different. And those are, you know, the colorful uh, uh, sides of it. They're actually posters, uh, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. falling posters of various concerts that, you know, people are sticking onto the walls. Reminiscent of, uh, speaking of Michael Swank in Mexico City, he does a lot of work with with posters and paper mm -hmm. that, that is found around the city just on, on walls, and he re reworks those. Uh, uh, so that's... Uh, that's interesting that you've uh, you've brought those mm -hmm. together as well. And there's a lot of tagging going on. Somebody asked me here, is that saying Trump? No, that says pump. Pump? <laughs> uh, I didn't see that. No, I did see that. Okay. Yeah. So um, I think it's a fantastic image. I'm so proud of it. Uh, the the idea of printing it on on. Um, canvas it adds it it gives a different feeling yes uh, you know yes. It, it's i felt like i it, they look good on canvas in particular one this one this tool but I, I i i can't tell you why i just think they just do look great you know in the, in the one on the right there the one with a lot of the brown it's it's less busy than the one on the mm -hmm. left but it looks as though you've torn off a piece yeah. and revealing all the color and vibrancy and, and motion and it's actually activity that, that underneath. Mm -hmm. So it, it looks like you've just ripped open uh, and revealed some of the uh, the beauty and, and energy of the city. And and if you if we go farther on thinking, it's like what does uh, walls actually saw and sure, hear over sure. over time? You know, there's a, they they are filled with memories in many in many all kinds of memories such a such an inspirational city in, a, in many ways sunbeam sunbeam this is a series i did golly some time ago and uh there were seven in the series and i've sold all but two of them uh and uh so i thought i'd bring this one up again this is a uh, it's on paper mm -hmm. it's uh 18 by 12 inches and i uh I really, really love this series. There's a, there's a, I don't know, a mid-century vibe. I love the colors. It, it, it speaks to me of, of the 1950s and the kind of art that mom and dad would have collected. And, and uh, so I kind of grew up with things like this, uh, that reminiscent of this. And it's just an explosion of color and movement and, and this kind of, uh, uh, the, I use a latex back uh, backing for it, and I think that 
that makes it look almost accidental or transitory. And I just really, really like it. I think it frames out the picture really, really nicely. And again, the colors are matte and they are there. They have this, this element that I think is very mid-century. I had a gentleman come from, I'm not sure if it was this particular one, and he uh, he was here visiting from Africa. And he said, this is a Maasai warrior. I, I don't see it, but I'm glad you do. And that's kind of the beauty of this kind of yeah. abstraction is Everybody you will deep. bring something to it with your eyes, with your own experience. And so whatever I intended is only, is only partially important. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I think the I think it's a bold statement. I think it would be a great addition to many collections. And and like I say, still have a couple of them left. And uh, I don't know when when they're gone. I don't know if I should try and do more. So um, pretty much this is it uh, in terms of art. We still have uh, quite a few of minutes to fill up. You want to talk about Romania? Yes, I do. I wanted to kind of touch base on what we've done and and what our wh where we are in that whole process. And if you haven't been following us. We are looking at the idea of relocating part-time or full-time to Romania in this, mainly because we're able to live so much more cheaply there than we can here. And as we've gone around looking for real estate and for a place to kind of build our art business to the next level, uh, we, we can't afford what we feel we need and we could afford that in Romania. So that, that was the real impetus of the whole experiment. Uh, so we just went for three weeks to explore the idea, would it work? Can we make it work? Is there a path forward? And uh, I think there is. I, I, and it's very comfortable. So we live there almost a, a month and we got to do uh, not uh, the touristy stuff uh, <laughs> that everybody does, but really look forward to make some businesses and some contacts and uh, you know live like real um, people and I, I i thought it was very comfortable for those four weeks we've been there yeah yeah and um, we did a lot of researches of how much it things our supply would cost yeah, and art supplies and framing and, and printing um, and shipping it, it, it's like here it's uh, a i would say a little more cheaper there than here oh absolutely but uh, you know it's a, it's an interesting uh, thing to experience and the whole idea for us is that we know that there's the the romanian market is going to be quite small obviously and, and we that was actually kind of borne out by conversations with local artists and local gallery owners. But that there is this entire European market, and since Romania is part of the European Union, that we would have access to all of Europe pretty easily by car, by rail, by, I mean, you can take a, a, a flight from Bucharest to London for about 20 pounds on, on blue, jet blue, what you I can get a chair. It's called, <laughs> if you can get a chair. So, I mean, all of Europe opens up in a way that, I mean, to drive from Romania to Vienna uh, is about the same as driving from Houston to Dallas. So that, that becomes... It depends. If you, if you stay more to the uh, uh, west border, it's even closer. Even closer. Uh, so, I mean, the, the idea that the spaces in Europe are so much closer when you live in a place like Texas, mm -hmm. I would make that drive without hesitation and easy to get to things uh, you know if you want to uh, go to the mountains because you need to relax you need a day off it's easy to get to or to the black sea mm -hmm. it doesn't require that much production and so one of the things we're doing now is really doing more research into what are those options outside of romania are what are the art fairs what are the gallery uh, what's the gallery situation like and and what is the transportation like you know how could we branch out from that base in Romania uh, to make a, a, a good living off of our art? And, and how do we do that without losing 
all the people that we have here, the collectors we have, the momentum, the kind of notoriety. I mean, he is one of the gayest and greatest of Houston. Oh my God. And uh, we don't want to lose all of that either. Um, so yeah, it's it's a lot to think about, but it was a very, very good trip. And I, I, think, I think I'm very, very pleased and ready to move forward to whatever that next step may be. Uh, and we'll talk about more of that tonight at, at the Kiki. So uh, we'll get more in depth into that. So how do somebody, um, can anybody join that Kiki? Yeah, you have to register. You just go to prpgmx.com. Can they find an... Uh, and and on there's a tab that says event and you register there. Did you, did you share that in our social media? Yes. Okay, so uh, just follow up that link and uh, join us tonight at Kiki. Yeah. And other than that, have a great week. Stay creative. We're delighted to be home, but we had a wonderful trip. And we will see you again next week for Art Chat. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Bye -bye.